Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Sanya and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro fast. So, in today's video we will discuss about MX Linux 21 review and first thought. So, let's get started. MX Linux is a fairly new Linux distribution with its popularity growing every day. The major reason is it comes with almost all applications preloaded and it is super stable with Debian base while being a high performance system with XFCE desktop. MX Linux comes with its list of pre-packaged applications for almost all needs. MX Linux can be used as a daily driver for every user who wants a stable, high performance and fast system. It comes with desktop option as default XFCE and KDE along with option of Flexbox and yes, it comes with both 32-bit and a 64-bit installer. So anyone can use it in their local language and easily customize it according to the system's requirement. It is an open source and free operating system that works well as an alternative to Mac OS and Windows due to its unique feature. On a rare occasion, a distribution would be released that offered the best of the both worlds, one that was simple to use but remarkably flexible. That is exactly what MX Linux is, a Linux distribution that caters to every type of user. Even the version they offer illustrate this. Users have the choice between three different XFCE versions and a KDE Advanced Hardware Support release. If you will be using MX Linux on a newer machine, such as one that includes use AMD Ryzen, AMD Radeon RX graphics, or 9th, 10th, 11th generation Intel hardware, make sure to download AHS version. Now if I talk about it looks and feels, then I like the wallpaper and the color scheme. They are eye-catching colors, while I can see a panel here with different icons on it. Overall, I like the first look. Well, as I can see here that MX Linux uses XFCE as a desktop environment, which is known for its simplicity and minimalist looks. However, MX Linux has a slightly tweaked interface. Its tweak tool allows you to customize the taskbar and many more aspects of the interface. It also supports themes and you can further tweak theme setting to make it look like the way you want. Overall, MX Linux has a smooth and basic interface with no resource intensive animations. However, if you don't like XFCE, you can switch to other desktop environments as well. Let's explore the utilities available on the panel. So the first icon that I can see here is this application menu. So let's explore it. You can point your cursor to any category to further explore it. There are many different categories and the one of the important category that I can see here is Office and inside it I can see LibreOffice. LibreOffice is compatible with a wide range of document format such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Publisher. With LibreOffice, you have maximum control over your data and content and you can export your work in many different formats including PDF. Now if I talk about MX Linux feature, then this release still features and updates for XFCE and KDE Plasma 5.15 stable, so we have a standard set of utilities in it. Now if I talk about applications and package details, then, this release features GIMP 2.10.12, Firefox 87, VLC 3.0.12, Thunderbird, and many more applications. On top of these core updates, the MX Linux 21 beta release also includes updated MX tools with various new features and improvements. For example, the MX installer received a password strength indicator, MX Snapshot has a new CLI mode suitable for scripting, and MX Tweak has better support for custom theme set feature. Well, MX Linux includes a few very handy tools. MX Tool is a single most powerful program for managing your system without touching the command line. You can configure just about anything with a click of a button. You can also create system backup. 
you can install driver you can have boot options you can clean your system you have conkey management related setup you can do bash configuration also the repository management and qsp format well they are very user friendly and work exactly as expected now here i can see mx package installer mx package installer is yet another helpful application that mx linux offers to its users you can install popular applications from here if you are feeling adventurous you can install a more recent version of various packages in mx test repo tab being debian based packages in mx test repo are usually not the latest version flat packs tab usually offers the latest version of packages now let's talk about add block mx linux has an add blocker installed by default i appreciate that mx linux team included it in the distribution i wish they also enabled it by default because it does not work out of the box well let's discuss some of the disadvantages of the mx linux as nothing is perfect neither is mx linux while it is a well rounded distribution it does have some flaws if i talk about its installer then mx linux installer is not the simplest one if you are a newcomer to linux it can be hard for you to figure out what to do in some places but i hope the mx linux team will improve it in the next releases as they have also put the mx user manual here it will help you and guide you while you are installing the operating system now let's talk about the boot time mx linux boots much slower than other linux distributions on the bright side the system is very fast and smooth after it starts up the boot time is not a big deal but it is annoying sometimes when you are in a rush as for package management MX Linux includes Synaptic Package Manager. The inclusion of Synaptic is one of the few things on the user friendliness scale to be found in MX Linux. Not that Synaptic is challenging to use, but it is certainly not one of the more user friendly tools to be found in Linux. When you compare Synaptic to say GNOME software, Synaptic not only looks a bit antiquated, it is not nearly as simple. given that mx linux seems to be centered on being a linux distribution for everyone the developers might want to consider including a more modern take on the application store but here you can't deny that mx linux is a debian based distribution which is stable fast lightweight and it is for beginners it comes with many useful pre installed softwares and its elegant ui makes it even more suitable for beginners while it is lightweight which makes it a perfect choice for any tasks and even programming in the end i would like to add that i enjoyed mx linux a lot it is fast and lightweight mx linux developers have done quite a great job so that's it for today what do you think about this operating system in your opinion which other utility should be added to it so go ahead and try mx linux and share your experience in the comment section i hope you have enjoyed this video If you have any queries reach out to us in the comments below like this video subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon i'll see you in the next video